Hey, Zach here from digitalconstructive.com and in this video we're going to be talking about how to pass your C-34 license exam. Now the C-34 pipeline contractor license exam is going to be made up of a few different sections including planning and estimating, new pipeline installation, removal, repair, and maintenance of existing systems, specialty pipeline projects, and safety. And if you're unfamiliar with the C-34 license, I suggest you check out our previous video that breaks down this license in detail. Today, we're going to be focusing primarily on the examination. Now, as is the case with all California contractor licenses that fall under the C-Specialty classification, you'll also have to pass the CSLB Law and Business Exam. And that'll include sections on business organization, business finances, employment requirements, bonds, insurance, and liens, contract requirements and execution, licensing requirements, public works, and safety. So essentially, you've got to pass two tests, 115 questions covering law and business, and 115 questions covering pipelines. It's going to be multiple choice, closed book, you'll get three hours to complete each section, it's going to be a computerized exam that you'll take at a CSLB testing facility. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the entire licensing process in California, I suggest you check out our free guide. It's a breaks down the entire process. There's sample questions, how to fill out the application, everything that you need to know about getting licensed in California. You can check that out in the top right hand corner. Now, the pipeline construction specialty portion of the exam is going to be extremely critical. You're going to be tested on job site preparation, cleaning, testing, and finishing pipelines, installing grease interceptors, excavation and grading, California building code, Caltrans standard specifications, project scope planning, job costing and material selection, installing pipeline projects, installing fire hydrants, and then, of course, employee safety. Now, there's going to be a lot more to this test, but this is kind of a snapshot of what you need to be prepared to answer questions based on. Now, the mathematics that you'll want to make sure that you're tight on are going to include your applied math, obviously your addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. You'll want to know how to calculate square footage. You'll want to be familiar with the different units of measurement, including inches, feet, pounds, and tons. Obviously, job costing and estimation are also going to be a huge portion of the exam. Now, preparing for the test, obviously, you want to make sure that the California law and business side of the exam is tight. You know, it's 50% of the test, so make sure that you're aware of all the different types of questions that could be posed to you. Make sure you're, you're tight on your trade-specific fundamentals, and that, if, of course, you've seen the possible questions there. California takes health and safety codes, laws, and regulations extreme, extremely seriously. So, uh, you know, environmental safety, job site safety, workers' rights, these are all going to be big portions of the exam. Make sure that your fundam fundamental math skills are tight, you know, your common equations, your formulas, have some test taking experience, you know, timed exams with flashcards and not only questions and answers, but explanations as to why the answers are correct are extremely helpful. And also walkthroughs of the exam with licensed contractors and lawyers that can help you decipher the language and not only understand what you need to pass, but also give you insight in how to run a profitable contracting business in California specifically. All of this is included in our C-34 license program. I hope you found this video helpful. Just want to thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Like and subscribe to our channel. And again, this is Zach from digitalconstructive.com. And thanks again for watching.